guys, this is Jessica. I'm really excited to be filming this video today because I just got some craft kits in and I'm gonna do an unboxing for you. So first, just to tell you what I'm doing, I have been looking for a new hobby and I decided to try this diamond painting thing. It looks really fun, kind of like a paint by numbers meets light bright, but something that can be done at my kitchen table, not need me to um, go down into the sewing room and whatnot to do like quilting. So. I've been thinking about it for a while and I have to say that I fell for a Facebook ad. So I think it was called Diamond Art Club and it was a free diamond painting. Of course, everyone knows that free means really expensive shipping, which is fine. So I went to the website and it was $8.99 to ship one diamond art painting. And you could get four of them though and then you save $6. So instead of like $36, it was $30. I was like, well, that's a good deal. So I went with that. I went ahead and got four of them. So then it gives you the option of, oh, do you want to add an organizer for the beads or drills or diamonds, whatever they're called. And I was like, well, I can get one of those at Michael's and it was $14.95 or something like that. And that's about what they cost. I could use a half off coupon, but I don't really have time for a trip to Michael's. So let's just go ahead and add. So then the next page comes and it asks if you want to upgrade the size of your painting. And that's when I go and I Google some more about diamond art painting and I realized that the size of the drills is the same no matter what size canvas you get. So what happens is the smaller your canvas, the more pixelated your drawing is. And some of these intro paintings, like you literally could not tell what they were when they were in the small size. So you have to upgrade them. And it's $14 per painting to upgrade. And there is no option to only upgrade some of them and not others because at least one of the designs I felt like would look fine in the smaller size. There's also no way I can go back. So I was thinking, okay, well, do I want this or not? And I looked at their website and like the cost of their regular paintings was still a lot more. And I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and do it. So I upgraded it, totally fell hook, line and sinker for their free thing, right? I'm now $100 in. So for $100 is what I'm gonna open this box for. I feel kind of like a fool, had instant regret because then I go to like AliExpress and see that you can buy these things for like $8 and I'm averaging $20 each plus the organizer. Like this was just a stupid purchase. But then I've also done some Googling and I see that this place maybe has better quality than other places, but I don't know. So I really have no idea what I'm getting. I have no idea if this is $100 worth of stuff. Um, I have no idea if I just completely fell for the worst deal in history. I have seen that basically everywhere that sells diamond art paintings sells the exact same images. So if their quality is any different, they're still ordering it from all the same places you can get on AliExpress. They've just customized somehow. Um, U.S. shippers aren't making them in the U.S. They're just ordering them in bulk from China the same as we could from something like AliExpress. So. I feel like I'm gonna have to get more into this to judge the quality. And I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and do that or if I'm gonna try to finish these first because I feel like this is one of those hobbies like cross stitch where it's gonna take a long time to even do one. All right, enough talking, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so first I did not consider the fact that you can see me in my pajamas. So I have two small boxes. And two large boxes. Um, now it didn't say that they wouldn't all be the same size, so this kind of surprises me. Um, this says that it's 32 by 37, 32 by 32, 38 by 47, and 57 by 38 um, centimeters, obviously. And the upgrade also meant you got the AB, um, the Aurora Borealis coating, like if you're familiar with um, Swarovski crystals or whatever. Obviously, I don't think these drills are anything like Swarovski crystals. So let's see if I can get this open. See what this looks like. Uh, this is the one that I thought needed the upgraded size the most. Like the small ones, you couldn't even tell what was happening in it. Um, oh, it opens down here. So what's in a box? All right, so I got a kit. And inside of this is, this is the tool that's used to pick it up. Plastic baggies, a tray, 
two pieces of wax. This is a multi pickup tool and then like a squishy um, gripper tool, I guess. Okay. So that's the other thing. It also said it came with extra tools and I'm not seeing extra tools, but I think every single kit has tools. All right. So let's take a look at this picture. So this is where I was worried about the pixelization. See those two little black dots? Those are apparently two people standing there. And if you imagine this on like a 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, there was no way you'd be able to tell what that was. This canvas is also really flexible and it feels really good. So I guess I'm exci excited about it. And then let's just take a look at what these look like. These are the drills or the rhinestones, whatever you want to call them. Oh, those ones are really pretty. That's a lot of different shades of blue and purple. This goes on forever. And lots of, I guess these are the more background colors. But really pretty. Very sparkly. These are round. I guess some are round, some are square. And so these ones are round. It did not give me a choice. Like it didn't ask me which one I wanted. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that these all go back in the same package because that matters. All right, let's open the next one up. This is another one where like every single website that sells diamond paintings sells this. And I wasn't sure what I thought about this one at first. Like this was the one I was least favorite about when I ordered, I'm sorry, least excited about when I ordered. And now I think I'm actually most excited about because I really like trees. trees. Trees are an image that I like. Okay, so you can see it came with all the drills again. Another toolkit. And let's check out this picture. So that's really pretty. So it kind of has like a tree for each season. It has a summer, summer, maybe fall, winter, spring. And I guess you could really look at this from either, either side. So that's kind of interesting. And it looks like, are these ones round as well? Those are also round. I guess some people like square because with the round, there's some spaces between them. But then I've heard other people say that they like square, square, no, they like square because with round, there's the spaces between it. And other people have said they like round because, because of the spaces, you can see the faucets, the facets, I don't know how you say these words, like the cuts on top of it that make it like a diamond, right? That make it shinier. It gives more space for the light to hit and reflect. So this one is the one that I was, if I had the option to not upgrade them all, I wouldn't have upgraded this one because I felt like it doesn't have the detail. Um, you see lots of blues and grays and whites. Oh, I see one that has the AB sparkle. That's really pretty. Can't, hopefully we'll get to show you the finished product here. This one's the smallest, I think. So I'll probably start with it to see how it goes. If I don't like this, I'm just gonna give the other kits away. Um, and be like, wow, that was $100 I should not have spent. Still feels so silly for spending that much money. Just like I said, totally fell for it. So, just a nice butterfly. One thing you notice is like, I feel like you can see the detail more from a distance. Not the detail from a distance, the, the picture from a distance, the image from a distance. So this will definitely be the one I start with. I think it's maybe gonna be the easiest. I forgot to look at the shape. Maybe are these all round? Yeah, these are all round. I wonder if round is like easier for beginner because they don't have to line up quite as perfectly. I don't know. I thought for sure some of these would be square though. I'm, I guess I'm a little surprised. Um, and I guess I'm surprised that it didn't let you pick or it didn't tell you ahead of time because at least I don't remember seeing it. Um, I guess
guess there's lots of surprises here because I thought they'd all be the same size. And obviously that one was much smaller than the other. So why did I pay $14 for that one when it's like half the size of the first one? And this is the one that I, if I probably shouldn't have upgraded them all. This one I was less excited about. Um, see if you can tell it's a rose. I do like flowers though. Actually, is this one the smallest one? Maybe I'll start with this one. Um, yeah, this one's just a little bit smaller. So, um, so the way this works is there are, there's like a, each drill has on the legend and you match them and then you just basically paint by numbers for all the dots. So I'm going to try to do a video of doing the diamond painting as well. In addition to just showing you off what I bought. Um, but for now, just an unboxing video and um, th thanks for sticking with my channel. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. I hope to video the actual process of the diamond painting so maybe you can see it a little bit and hopefully you enjoyed the unboxing. I've been really curious about these Facebook Instagram offers I saw. Um, I'm excited. Like I feel like this was good quality canvas. I really don't know what these things cost to know if I got a good deal or not. Um, I am surprised by some of it. Like I'm surprised all the drills are round. I thought some would be square. I'm surprised they're not all the same size. Um, I feel like the $14 upgrade was really good for some of the big ones and maybe not as good of a deal for some of the littler ones. I don't know. Um, but overall, you know, what's $100 in the scheme of all the stuff in my craft room? <laughs> all right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.